everybody, welcome to Mishcraft. My name's Cassie and I'm your host. And I look pretty weird because I'm wearing a respirator mask here. They got some filters in them, right? And I'm wearing some safety goggles. And we're about to mix some dye stock solution. So I don't know if you can see this real well. They just kind of move it around. Yeah. There you go. So I've zeroed it out, my scale out, with this on top of it here. Now I'm going to need to get some gloves and I'll be right back and I'll show you how to mix um, a dye stock solution. So all this protective equipment is here so I don't aspirate or breathe in the dye powder so the dye powder doesn't get in my eyes and also so the dye powder doesn't get on my skin. Those are the three main issues you have with these acid dye powders. Now we're going to be mixing violet, okay, and the way we mix these acid dyes is we need 100 milliliters for every gram, and I have, sorry about that, I have these bottles here. Now these are just plastic bottles, but they're they're fine. These are safe to store them in as long as you have a good lid here. So I have this plastic bottle and I know that these are 350 milliliters. So I'm going to be needing... Let me turn back my... Okay, so it saved it at zero. So I'm going to be needing three grams of this dye powder. And let me just go ahead and show you kind of close up. Wait, where's, there it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me just show you kind of close up what it looks like so you can see. So, okay, so that didn't register. Let's see if this does. Okay. Alright guys, so we're going to do plan B because uh, that didn't work. <laughs> now, my, my kitchen scale, it does not, um, it's not working as well as I'd like it to and I'm going to have to get another one, which is fine. But I know that I've taken some out and put it in this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one that I have not opened, never opened this one, putting it on that scale. We can see it's 29 grams, right? So what I'm going to want is that when I put this on the scale, for it to be 26 grams. That would let me know that I've put out 3 grams, right? Alright, so there it is. It's at 26 grams. So I know that I have 3 grams in here, okay? Because 29 minus 26 is 3. Now, if this had been working the way that I was hoping it would, I wouldn't have needed to do that, okay? So now I have my dye powder here, and I know it's 3 grams of dye powder. So what I'm going to do is I've got right here, it looks like it's... Ah... Uh, just under 250 milliliters. It's going to add a little bit first. Now this is on the instructions, okay? If you look at the instructions from the card, they want you to make a little bit of a paste first. So, let me see if you can see. Yeah. So as I'm stirring this up, you can kind of see it's kind of, kind of blue right now is what it looks like. But as I'm stirring it up, you can see, maybe, if you look at that spoon, you can see how there's a little bit of those particles on there. What that is, is they're little clumps of that acid dye. And again, this is going to need 300 milliliters for it to make a 1% dye stock solution. So I'm just going to add a little bit more now and see how this looks. Mm. 
Now eventually I'm going to run out of water. I'm going to need to get some more. So this water that I'm using right now, it's hot. And I've just noticed that helps it dissolve a little bit better. All right. So 300 milliliters here. All right. I'm just going to get some more water, guys. I'll be right back. Just so you can see, here we've got, it's right under 250 right now, if you can see that. The 300 milliliter mark is right here. Let me just kind of point to it there. It's right there. So, I'm just going to keep adding this water until it gets to that 300 milliliter mark. There we go. Got 300 milliliters there. So I know this dye stock solution is going to fit into this bottle, because this bottle is 350. All right. So I've got that stirred up, but I, I don't know if those particles have been, have, have been completely dissolved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into here and see if there's any extra particles in there. See. Looks like it's pretty well dissolved. Yeah, I don't, I don't hardly see any particles actually. And I've noticed as I've mixed these, some dyes, some dye powders are a little bit more difficult than others. Um, one of the ones that is harder to dilute is uh, Sun Yellow, and I. I personally had some issues with turquoise. All right, now I just want to point out, no matter how careful you are, you might make a mess, and that's going to be okay as long as you cover your surface with something that's going to be a good barrier because you don't want to mix any kind of food in this dye stock. So I've got this shower curtain here. Let's see if I if I pick it up, you can see it a little bit better. Okay. I got this shower curtain liner that I got. Just got it at a dollar store, okay? Alrighty. So now that we have the dye stock solution there, I'm going to take a funnel. Okay, well, I got a few of them, apparently. I'm going to take this funnel and put it in there. Alright. Now, let's see if I can pour out some more of this. Let me get some more of that out. Okay. All right. So here we go. All right. So I just mixed 300 milliliters of a 1% dye stock solution of violet. So I'm going to put on this label violet and the day. Just so I know to use this up before I mix any more, basically. See if I can peel it off with my gloves on. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> oh goodness. I didn't know if that chalk was actually going to work very well or not, but see now I've got this lid on. Maybe, maybe it'll work better. Probably just need to let it dry, right? <laughs> okay, 12, 8, 22. At least that's what I think the date is. So, as you can see, I can just kind of shake it up. You know, that way if it separates in the bottle, I'll be able to kind of remix it. And if I want, you just take this tip off of this bottle here. Now these are just plastic craft bottles. You can get them on Amazon. And, uh, and now I got a little place where I can just kind of squirt it on if I want to. Now, I personally would rather have more control, but I could squirt it on if I wanted to, yeah? 
So, there you have it. So that is how you mix a 1% dye stock solution. Obviously, you don't have to make 300 milliliters every time you do it. You just need to take for each gram, you, you add 100 milliliters of water, okay? So, if you want to make 500 milliliters, see this will, this will, this has, I don't know if you can see it, but you can, but there's a 500 right there. I could, I could put in this, in this container, 500 milliliter solution. So that would just be five grams of dye powder to 500 milliliters, right? So anyway, that's all I can think of. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye for now.